Well, talking while eating isn't just poor manners. It can lead to a quick fit of coughing chaos if you're not careful. And that person in distress might say wrong pipe, but how does aspiration occur? And what happens to food or items that end up in our lungs? Good question. Here's Jeff Wagner. Sharing a laugh with friends over dinner and drinks is fun, but it doesn't always mix well mid bite or sip. What's the reaction? What starts happening? You cough. People kind of want to help you. Yeah, exactly. It's like, are you okay? Are you... Pat you on the back. And <laughs> it's like, no, it's, yeah. it's not what I need. Yeah. <laughs> this part of the body is incredibly complicated. Dr. Andrew Steam is a pulmonologist. What is aspiration? Aspiration is when something enters the lungs that's not supposed to be there. The esophagus, where food and liquid goes, and trachea, which brings air into the lungs, are side by side. When we swallow, the epiglottis closes the entrance to our trachea to ensure food goes down the correct pipe. So the typical thing is we're eating, and then we might laugh during a meal, which kind of interrupts that swallow. So we take that big breath to laugh, at the same time, we've got liquid or solid there. We suck that down into our lungs. And it goes down the wrong pipe. Why do we aggressively cough sometimes as a reaction? That's defense. That's your lungs playing defense. The thing that went down, we're now trying to get out and clean up. It's just an automatic response. Why do we not want it in our... Uh, our lungs. Sometimes it brings germs with it, which is why it can cause pneumonia. Despite the discomfort, most food will dissolve over time in our lungs. The problem is when it's too big or not even food. Well, there are there are people that put all kinds of strange things in their mouth. <laughs> so we've had to go fetch things out of people's uh, lungs on uh, in, not an infrequent occasion. I've had to pull out carrots. I've had to pull out uh, coins. You have to be very careful with, with well, the little children. Well. How can we prevent aspiration from happening? Usually it's just the volume. So, you know, you don't want mass amounts of steak that you haven't chewed really well to swallow and go down the wrong way. That can be a problem. I would say take our time, chew slowly, chew it finely. With photojournalist Jose Pascual. So many times your mom says don't talk with your mouth full. That's actually sage advice. Jeff Wagner, WCCO News. Listen to mom. Well, sometimes aspiration can happen when we are sleeping. Partially digested food or stomach acid can enter our esophagus and then our airway.